Hello oh, there. Uh, you know, I, I, I really love this bar, mainly because uh, when I sat down at the bar and I was talking to uh, Zane, he said, well, uh, you know, man, I, I know you said you weren't going to do any shots before you get up, but you want to, and I said, well, sure. That's what I do. That's what I do. Yes, it's my hobby. You gotta have a hobby. Uh, well, anyway, I, 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 all my stories are gonna have a kind of same trend. So I was walking up to the bar uh, last summer uh, because uh, yeah, I was thirsty, and, and that's where they keep the beer. And uh, I recently quit driving. You're welcome, by the way. Uh, you know, I, I didn't yet have the pain because you know, this has just started happening to me. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I can tell you, they don't hand these out just anyway. Uh, you, you know, you got to go to the doctor, and you got to go get a full physical. And, so, you know, I realized that, uh, you know, I needed to uh, go ahead and get some help getting around, so I went ahead and got my physical. And uh, the, the doctor, after he's done, he said, well, uh, uh, Matt, do you have any uh, additional questions or concerns? I said, well, you know, actually, doctor, uh, I'm not here because I'm having trouble getting around, and you know, it's, it's kind of stressful uh, that you're not uh, in unfamiliar places. And he said, you know, that was just really good to see him. And he said, you know, he's not going to see me. Huh, well, let's get this guy to Johns Hopkins. He's brilliant. My dad's some depression. Let me see you. Let's catalog the last couple of years. My dog died, my wife left me. I lost my eyesight and my job. I got too crazy not to be a little depressed. I mean, I really miss my dog. So, anyway, he said, well, uh, uh, I, I, I really think we need to see a therapist. Therapist? Now I am depressed. I'm not really a therapy guy. But, you know, I didn't really have anything you know, better to do, so I thought this might be fun. So, off to the therapist I went. And he was asking all these questions, trying to figure out what's wrong with me, which, you know, I think is pretty obvious. Uh, and uh, he, he says, well, uh, yeah, uh, do you drink? I said, well, doctor, it, it's a little early, but what do you have? <laughs> said, no, 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 man. I, 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 how much do you drink? I don't know, but how much do you have? <laughs> and I like, no, 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 if you're depressed, you really should be drinking. Again, you get depressed. Of course, I'm just going to get pissed off. And I said, well, you know, why shouldn't I be drinking? And then to be fair to the fellow. I mean, he goes launching into what he's been telling people for 30 years, I'm sure, and says, well, there could be serious repercussions. You can go do you want. Now, if, if I'm driving down the road towards you, we have a lot bigger problems than if I have a little too much to drink. But anyway, he didn't give me my Xanax. But anyway, so, you know, as I'm walking up to the bar, you know, I'm kind of keyed up. I'm not, I didn't have the pain yet, as I, as I told you, but it took a lot of concentration to get up there. But you know, gotta walk down the sidewalk, don't fall in the street, don't fall in the ditch. You know, get, get to the intersection, cross the road, listen for the cars, step out, boom! Oh, almost got hit by a Prius. I hate those fucking cars. They're so goddamn quiet. And here's the thing, now they have this ad by Mr. Fisher on the goddamn television that's coming out with a whole fleet of electric cars. Don't get on the air any of them. Well, yeah, it, you know, what you really ought to do is maybe try to can the back of those goddamn things and, you know, do like the kids used to do with the playing cards and the bicycles. And, 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 and here's the thing, if, if, if you want to buy any of these goddamn things, Every time you stuff your paper stock down on that accelerator, you're starting to pull the need for energy. How many of you, really? You know, I could be wrong about this. I mean, I'm just trying to talk to people out. But anyway, I'm going to go into the sidewalk. I'm almost to the bar, and all of a sudden, boom, boom. There's 
these two kids right next to him bicycles. And the strange thing is, they're dressed like the rent of a cast of the reservoir dogs. <laughs> they're in the, these black suits and black ties. And, you know, and, and I don't know what they were going to talk to me about, but I've seen the movie Reservoir Dogs, so I'm getting ready to punch this little bastard right in the middle. And he says, Sir, what would you like Jesus Christ to do in your life today? So, a man for you two assholes to leave me alone. I was trying to walk to the bar and say, yeah, for God's sakes. So I ran off and they ran off and we got into the sidewalk and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get pissed off now. I mean, I've got about 11 years of Catholic school. Those assholes don't have any of their keys on every Sunday and I'm not tired. And these two jerks have a drink and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I did. And I got all sorts of things going on over the years. I'm telling my little uh, attempted conversion story and I got some phone calls to a friend of mine and said, Well, Matt, I'm sure that's for your eyesight, Matt. You know, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to do it. So now, I take an entirely different task when I talk to these guys and show them that they're all preaching that I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, Phyllis, hold it right there. I don't know what you're saying, but I do not care. I'll tell you what, you say a prayer, I say, you know what you got? And if I can see, I'll be down at the church, temple, with every other corner, every day, Sunday, Saturday, you know, whatever. I'll do whatever you want to do, and I'm going to handle it, and I'll roll over on these pot of cheese. Whatever you want to do, I'll just go to the top. Do you want to do something? Sure. Transubstantiation. One way or not. So you have to have a section. Sure. Good enough. And, and, and here's where we can have our film together ecumenical commentators because yeah, I, thought, I don't know if we have a dog in this bike, but uh, you know, we're going to be able to get in that place that I'm going to get in that place. And then we're going to just really going to get stoned at it. Well, uh, 